Welcome, feasters. We are live here at the studio by Feast It Forward. And if you hear some jackhammering in the background, it's because the lovely city of Napa decided to tear up our street today. So we're just having an extra celebration outside uh, besides what we're doing in here. So I am going to be doing, I really honestly don't know what the heck I'm making today. <laughs> I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff together. Per This is what happens, as you see in the description. This is what happens when you are on your way to school with your, your two and five-year-old to drop them off. And I ask my five-year-old, what do you want me to make on my show today? What should we make tonight together? And she says, peanut butter salad. And reason being, we had peanut butter toast for breakfast. And obviously, you know, she thought it was funny. So she was heckling me in the back. And I'm like, OK, peanut butter salad. Hmm, OK, I'm craving Thai. So let's think about the peanut butter side. But then, you know, in discussions with one of my best friends, Raina, her, her son is allergic to peanuts. And so it's like, OK, how can I combine the fact that I'm craving Thai? My daughter wants peanut butter salad. And uh, I want to appease somebody that might be coming over for dinner later that can't have peanuts. So we're going to make some sort of cashew chicken Thai noodle dish that I've never uh, you know, attempted, but I think it's going to be good based on all the ingredients that I've gathered. And for those of you who are just tuning in and haven't watched one of my previous shows, you know, I think we've done a total of eight or nine of these now. And I have never actually written down any ingredients of anything or, or any instructions to any dish that I've ever made. I'm like a mad scientist when I go into the kitchen. I love taking things out of the cupboard and chopping for one protein and gathering vegetables and whatever it may be, and then just kind of creating a fun dish. There are certain go-tos that I have, but my whole entire intention of family style, the point of this show is to spend time with your family in the kitchen, especially your little ones, take them to the grocery store, teach them about appropriate eating, and that things don't all come specifically from a prepackaged can, that you can teach your children how to eat healthy and have fun and get their hands dirty at the same time and take them to the grocery store. So, you know, I think this, this dish specifically, when I go home with the extra ingredients and make it with my two and five-year-old, they will have a blast with this. So um, bear with me. As, as for those of you who have watched, typically when I do my shows, I have this piece of paper and I am compiling all of these sheets with all my ingredients and items written down because I have no idea what quantities and, and really what I'm throwing together. I just have the ingredients and I'm going to make it. So um, first, wine. Thank you, Oberon. Let's see, I'm going to put this here. OK, so I think I'm going to start with, come here, buddy. Take my handy Breville mixer here. I've got cashews. So as, as Raina, if she was up here, would say is that children with a, a peanut allergy, 20 to 40 percent of them are also allergic to tree nuts. Uh, however, her son luckily isn't. They've tested him. He's only allergic to peanuts. So cashews are, are a great substitute. You know, I certainly could have bought cashew butter, but I want to make this from scratch. So uh, these are salted cashews. Certainly you could use any other tree nut if you wanted, but uh, this, is, this is my version. So I measured out about two cups. And again, I might add more, but I've got two cups in here. I've got a half a cup of soy sauce. And when I'm in my home, I have all of the ingredients on the side. And I'm just like, oh, mixing everything together. But I'm going to start with this and see where to go from here. So I've got half a cup of soy sauce. I've got some ginger. Okay, or excuse me, garlic, and uh, just two cloves. And my children, though they do love, for the most part, any kind of out there foods, and they certainly love garlic and ginger, um, I'm not going to add too much of this. In fact, I'll probably just start with one clove, just for the sake of, um, you know, if it's too much and too strong. OK, so I've got, I'm going to start with one, one clove, and we'll see it go from there. I've got some honey, uh, just rock star Marshall Farms honey. And let's see, probably going to, I'm going to call this about two tablespoons by the time I get all of this out. 
And I, honestly, I think that this might be one of those, those uh, dressings or sauces that I use on a lot of things, kind of like my soy ginger marinade that I've talked about that I use on everything. Okay, and then I've got some rice wine vinegar. I put two tablespoons in there. Let's see, sesame oil. Let's start with, so sesame oil, sesame seeds are okay for, for um, Alex, being that he's allergic to the peanuts. So let's start with one tablespoon. I love sesame oil and sesame in general, so we'll start with that. Okay, um, okay, we've got that. I'm gonna add some coconut milk, 100% coconut milk. You can get the light, but I just, I like the thickness of this. So let's see, this is about one and three quarters. Let's do about a quarter, three quarters of a cup. No, we're doing a half a cup to start with. And then I'll just modify this based on, so half a cup. And I also have basil and mint here, which I'll probably add into the dish, but um, you know, I think some kids might not be as keen to that. And I love this Breville machine. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different attachments, but you can take this hand mixer out and then put it in the bowl, or you can just use the specific attachment here. Woo! There's just something about being in a kitchen and actually just throwing stuff together. I, I enjoy it. It's like meditating to me, like drinking. I kind of like to drink and cook at the same time. All right, again, I have no clue what this is gonna taste like, but this is part of the fun. And I would probably be having my kids actually, you know, um, churning this a little bit too. So this is super thick, but I want that. Mm, that's really yummy. Um, I think it needs a little more acid, so I'm gonna add probably a little more, let's do rice wine vinegar, so another tablespoon. And, you know, if you guys want uh, me to cook a certain dish that you guys like playing with at home or you can't get your kid to eat something specific, um, let me know because I, I love chat taking on kind of crazy challenges in the kitchen and getting kids to eat certain things. My kids are really great eaters, and I think that's a testament to the fact that I've, you know, brought them in the kitchen since they were little and had them try and get their hands dirty. So I added another tablespoon there. I think I am going to add a little more um, sesame oil. And since these are actually salted cashews, and I'm going to write that, salted, because if you don't get them salted, or you do get them salted and you add too much salt, then no bueno. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more coconut oil, or coconut milk, excuse me. So that's down to a three quarters of a cup. So three quarters cup. Okay, we're going to mix this up a little bit more. And this is a really, honestly, I, I came in and started prepping and getting stuff ready. Uh, just over an hour ago, and it's been very easy. So I've got udon noodles that I, you know, for the sake of not having you stare at me and watch water boil, I love udon noodles. You could use any type of noodle. Um, you know, typically this is, is for broth, right, for udon soup, but I think that these are really fun and playful and the kids love them. So you could use spaghetti, you could use linguine, you could use penne. If you're you know, gluten-free, you could certainly get gluten-free pasta. That's you know, not as much fun for me. But these udon noodles, I, I always make probably twice as much noodle than I typically call for in the recipe because I have them in my fridge constantly for my kids just to like add butter for the nanny to heat up a little bit if they need an after-school snack or something. So that's... That's kind of a, a good little tip and trick. So this is two, I believe, 14 ounce, yeah, noodle bowl or noodle boxes. And I've put a little grapeseed oil in here to make sure that they don't clump together because the last thing you want, especially if you're not paying attention to that water boiling, is I always add a little bit of salt and some oil, whether it's grapeseed oil or olive oil, so they don't stick together. So after I let these um, uh, drain them, I actually put probably a half a cup of grapeseed oil in here so they don't stick together. So you can see that they're actually kind of coming apart and that's, it's no fun to peel noodles apart. Okay, so we've got the udon here. And turn this guy back on. 
And I, I think this could be a, a, we'll see how it goes. I, I haven't determined if I want this cold or warm. I'm going to heat this up with the chicken. So I'll probably serve this warm. But I think if you mix all of this and have some of the side ingredients gathered, that you could turn this into a chilled noodle salad too. I'm just going after my five-year-old and saying, OK, she wanted peanut butter, but my friend's son is allergic to peanuts, so we're going the cashew route. But I was craving Thai because Thai is like my ultimate favorite food. And I want to know what people are drinking right now. I know that it's only 12.30 on a Tuesday, but I know, you know, Whitney Ferris, if you're watching at home with the kids, possibly she's got a little Chardonnay in her glass. I don't know what, you know, Travis Thompson, what are you drinking? Tea, possibly. Okay. I think I'm liking the consistency of this. And I'm going to cook this down a little bit in the actual pan. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. OK. So I think the, gar the one clove of the garlic was sufficient. I don't want to add another one of that. I think the honey was good. I think we're, we're good. So what I gathered here for a salad is, you know, sometimes we don't have time to actually cook the chicken. I actually got a rotisserie chicken at the store and, you know, just basically picked all the, the meat off and shredded it. And this is another thing that my girls would love to do is picking apart all the pieces. Obviously, you want to go through and make sure that there are no leftover bones, because my two-year-old is not going to be paying that intense attention. But yeah, so super easy chicken. I took the juices, you know, tossed it around, and tossed. You could keep the bones and make a stock, certainly. So I've got chicken here. I have, I don't know how many of you are fans of, of watercress, but I love it. The crunch and the bite to add a little crunchy component to the salad. And I love ginger. Whenever I go to sushi, I ask for, like, they always like, think I'm crazy, a whole extra side of ginger. My kids wouldn't go for this, but I am going to be adding this to the adult portion of the salad. So I've got watercress, um, peppers. My girls are pepper nuts. I think I've talked about in previous shows that a lot of my dishes, just from a, a colorful standpoint, I think not only are they fun, but they're super healthy. And I always keep these in a bag in the fridge at the top. And you know, certainly you could cut this any way you want. But um, my girls just like eating these little sticks. So you know, whether you're gonna chop these or, or dice them or you know, julienne them, you know, the, the thin strips. I'm just doing a rough chop here, and then I'll probably just kind of. And ask questions. I've got Facebook up. If anybody is asking a question, if you're, you're tuning in right now, my daughter this morning, I asked her, what should I cook on my show? And she said, a peanut butter salad, because we just had peanut butter toast for breakfast on our way to school. So in, in thought of the fact that I was craving Thai, I thought, OK, this could be something fun to do along the lines of if my friend Raina came over for dinner and her son is allergic to peanuts, could we modify a dish that was Thai-inspired but kid-friendly? with cashews instead of peanuts. So that's what we're going after. So you know, I've got a couple different peppers. Certainly, maybe we'll just we'll add another, we'll add a yellow. Yeah, please, ask your questions. Tell me what you want me to cook. I mean, summertime is, spring is here. Summer is just around the corner. And, and I think I'll be kind of going on the lighter side now. The, the uh, random rain the other week led me to doing kind of a, a, a hot dish. But let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. OK, so we've got some pepper, right? And just, you know, however you guys want to chop this, super rough. Make sure the stickers are off, right? I've, I've, been, I've done that before, where I'm like, oh, that's a yummy sticker in the dish. And this is where the kids will just basically steal everything from me. And I, don't even, I don't even care what this looks like. We're just rough chopping it, right? And you could. Certainly throw this in the, a food processor, too, if you want it. This is not pretty. I don't care. It's going to be eaten. OK. Um, water chess. I think we'll cut some of those up. So here's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm winging this. This is completely based on what my daughter requested. So I, I think that once I mix all of this up, that I could certainly put this in the fridge and make it a 
a chilled salad. You could do this well in advance, as I suggested before. Whatever pasta you're doing, whether it be the udon that I've chosen or a spaghetti or a linguine, um, I, you can do this in advance and just have it in the fridge ready. And I'm probably going to be done with this dish in 10 minutes, and it took no time at all. And, you know, you're talking with your kids in the kitchen. You're getting them dirty. So we've got this udon. And I think what I'm going to do is add a little broth to this just to reconstitute the, uh, the noodles in a minute. But I think I'm going to heat this sauce up and kind of reduce it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see. The, uh, and this is cool, this breville. It, it actually gives you a gauge of sharpness and how thick you want it. So, yeah, that's very good. If I must say so myself. Okay. So we're going to turn this on high. I just want to cook this down a little bit and finish chopping these guys. Get one of these. And. See if any of you guys have any questions on here. Here's my Brad, my little my little Brad guy, hanging on our our hub up here. Check checking the questions. All right, so this is going to be on high heat. I've got some peppers. I've got the chicken. I think I'm going to heat the chicken. Get that all happy and yummy. Let's see. Think in a minute. Do, 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 do. Two comments. Up, oh, Travis is drinking Gatorade today. Okay, Travis, I I appreciate that Gatorade. Okay, this is starting to to bring up to a, a s s little boil here. Um, you don't have to use watercress. I I just like the crunch, as I said, and I like the the crunch to the um, the uh, peppers as well. And then I've got some, actually, some green onions, too. And if this is a chilled salad, possibly maybe I'm not cooking down any of these. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll just cook down the, uh, the watercress and then, and then add the peppers in after. So those of you tuning in, we're doing a, some version of a, a, a cashew chicken thai noodle salad. And I've never done this before. I'm just making it up as I go, and I'm writing the ingredients down, and you'll be able to find it on our network, feastatfour.com. And for those of you who have not been here to the studio, please, we've got a fun lineup. Check out our event calendar, a super, super fun lineup coming out. Um, on the 13th, we're hosting a Rips and Recipes with Chef Ken Frank and Giants great Tim Flannery, and then... Saturday, we're about to announce that Saturday, June 15th, we're hosting a fun Indian cuisine cooking culture with Chef um, Asif from the East Coast flying in. That's going to teach us all about tasty Indian cuisine cooking, and I'm really looking forward to that. Bec besides Thai, Indian cuisine is definitely up my alley. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook down a little bit, and we've got, we've got the noodles, and I've got the chicken. This is super simple dish and like I said if, if you want this to be a cooled salad then just let it cool down but I I want to cook off a little bit of this get the chicken all happy in there it smells good I mean how, how can you make anything bad with any type of nut and coconut milk see that's starting to Soak that up a little bit. I've got the rest of this. In fact, I'm going to reserve that, I think, so I can mix it in a separate bowl. And OK. Let's see. Let's try this. Hmm. I just love the randomness of this. That's pretty damn good. I mean, I'm, I'm literally nearly done, and I've not been on very long with you guys. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going to, actually, I'm going to serve this hot. Let's turn this low. But like I said, you could add this in the fridge. OK. 
Okay, so this is the reason I always cook far too much noodle because I just I love having extras. And I'm gonna add a little broth in here. I love udon noodles. I just you know I certainly like spaghetti, but so I think I had about a cup. So I'm gonna use a little more of this to cook these down a little bit. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, and if anybody's in town today, uh, please come. We're, we're celebrating my, my partner, Becky, um, their UVT program in Africa, United Village Transformation. So from 5 to 7.30 here at the studio, for those of you around, we're going to celebrate the incredible cause and host a social responsibility hour. So tasty wine, great, great time getting the community together and 10% of sales will support the foundation. So come on down. We've got a food truck coming here, too. You know, I probably would add some sesame seeds to this now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this guy aside. I think I've, I've got it a little bit warm enough. I'm going to add that extra sauce. I just want to get the... Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that's heating up. Got this. Super easy. And I think I'm going to... This is the fun part. I, I literally had no clue what I was going to do on the show today until I was in the car driving to Quinn's school, and she just decided to, to merge... Uh, peanuts and salad. And I, I realize this looks like a pasta dish right now, but the intention of it is you can stick it in the fridge and have this pre-made and have it as a chilled noodle salad. So I don't know if I'll necessarily put chilled in the, uh, in the, uh, in in the title, but and sure, you could grill up chicken and and throw it in here I just I think that you know sometimes we don't have the time and we can get a rotisserie chicken and it's very very easy so picking this yum yes I realize you're off okay so you know if if my kids were eating this I would probably hold off on the mint and the basil they don't mind it but um, they totally dig green onion. Yes, I realize you're talking to me. Okay, and I've got some watercress, just that crunch. I've got the, the chopped peppers. And I would also, for the adult version, just I'm going to add chunks of this ginger. I'll chop, chop this up. Um, and certainly, I'll probably just do this right now. But for my kids, I would just do this on the side because I, you know, they don't they don't mind it. I just think that they would appreciate it a little bit more without the the ginger. So let's chop this up. Boop 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 boop. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. Okay, and then I'm going to take that extra sauce. I think. Because all of that m initial sauce soaked up in those noodles, so I think this will just add a little bit to it. And yeah, you could just, I guess, serve this right smack in the middle of the table if uh, everybody was liking what was in it. But for my kids, I would probably, you know, hold off on the, the mint and the ginger, so, or the mint and the basil, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I mean, it smells good. I guess I'll, I'll try it and see if I'm going to gag or not. No. Smells great. I'm sure it's yummy. Awesome. Very easy. Cashews, soy sauce. I'm, I'm going to have this marinade set aside that can be used for anything. You know, could have done a little bit of a, a, a thinner gr or thicker grind so it was a little less chunky, but I think that this is, I love the chunk component to the cashews. They're good. I mean, super easy. I don't know how long we've been on for. I think maybe like not even 30 minutes. And 
the noodles were done in advance. I plucked the chicken in advance. And now I can just hang out in the kitchen with my kids and drink a little more vino. So please watch our show, Family Style. Check out our network, feastitforward.com. And let us know what other dishes you want us to cook. I mean, I think this is, again, the fun part, the intention of getting the kids in the kitchen. I'm going to have my girls join me in a couple weeks back in here. But it's coming up with fun dishes that kids can like, kids can gather around the table and help you, support you, go to the you know, grocery store together and have a fun little dish together. So this is, you know, I think going to be a fun little feast for our team downstairs. So cheers. Please come tonight if you can to support UVT. And thank you for watching. And remember to always feast it forward. Cheers. <laughs>